Roland Barthes describes punctum as an element that rises out of a photograph, shoots out like an arrow, and pierces. This accident that pricks, as he describes it, disturbs the studium and leaves an indelible mark upon the viewer. Take, for example, this photograph I took of a Bedouin guard at Petra, between the Red and Dead Seas, just outside of Ma'an, Jordan. The guard, dressed regally in his ethnic garb, makes for a nice composition. This photo, which presents a type of studium, holds a shocking discovery that eluded me until very recently. Looking closer, I can see the ages-old trope of the Declaration of Love, written on the wall of a structure that has existed at least since Hellenistic times. The heart, which I had never noticed before, is now one of the focal points of this photograph. It pierces me. It causes me to wonder how strong this love is or was to warrant to face in a world heritage site. I was shocked to find this bit of graffito, but it's not the same shock that Barst speaks of. Not shock as in a Maplethorpe photograph or Andre Serrano's Piss Christ, but the shock that comes with the revelation that certain cultural rites of passage such as vandalism in the name of love, is a transcendental phenomenon. Or consider this photo of these two camels, also taken at Petra. What, at a cursory glance, reveals two, at least to me, exotic animals dressed in riding gear to ascend the 900 steps to an area known as the monastery, something jumps out. The darker camel in the background is playfully gazing at the other camel, as if he is enjoying having his photograph taken. The playful gaze of the camel rises above the photographic plane and the photograph takes on a new depth, as Barth asserts that all photos are. This photograph of me, taken the same day as the other two, is a good example of this. During this time, I was a combat photographer, living abroad in an almost nomadic lifestyle. This moment captured a person who no longer exists, my thoughts, my worldview, and at the time, favorite t-shirt depicting a band I love are all forever altered. Even the socius between the photographer and I no longer exist. We both went our separate ways. He raising a family in Buffalo, and me making videos about photographs. While this symbolic death is an emblem all photos must contain, it is not that of what is no longer, but rather what has been. This photo, as all photos, does not invent, but rather authenticates. This person is dead so is this person. And this one. This person is going to die. Yet, I'm still alive. This realization transforms the notion of a photograph from that of the camera obscura, coming from a hole out of the darkness, to that of camera lucida, with one eye on the subject and another on the implements of creation, detached from intimacy and emotion, yet summing up any possible meaning in a manifest reality.